this might be the perfect dating website that you've been waiting for. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be reviewing the dating site called Black Planet. So first things first, let's get the elephant out of the room. I am not a black person, so I am not doing this review as my own personal experience, nor trying to vouch for anybody. Um, I'm just going to review this from a purely analytical way based off of reviews done by a survey of users. I'm gonna go through some of the basic ins and outs of the website layout, demographics, and a whole bunch of data. So that's how we're going to approach this review. This is a really large dating website out there that a lot of our viewers are using. So we'd be amiss if we left it out. So let's dive into the review of Black Planet. So before we dive right into this review, I have to recommend our Online for Love online dating app quiz, which will pair you with your perfect online dating app or website. It's really fun, quick, and easy, and it's totally free. Just click the link in the description of this video to go to the quiz. It'll pair you with your perfect site. And I'm really curious to know what your results are. So once you go there and get your result, come on back here to this video and comment below what you got. Maybe Black Planet is your perfect site, but let me know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. While you're down in the description, also make sure to click the link to our deals page because we here at Online for Love are always getting all sorts of awesome deals for different dating sites. And why spend more money if you don't have to? So click on the deals page, go check out the deals we have for you by clicking on our affiliate links and hopefully we can save you some money. So I've broken down this video into five key sections of all info that you have to know before deciding to sign up for this website. This video is broken down into the user demographics of the site, the ease of use, the pricing, the key features, and the success rates. Let's get started with number one, the user demographics. So what's interesting about this site is it's not purely just a dating or mashup website, but we're going to be focusing on that aspect of the website for this review. Just know though that this is only one of the services that Black Planet actually has to offer, but this is a dating website channel, so that's what we're gonna focus on. So while people of all races are on this site, of course, the majority of the people on Black Planet are Black people from all around the globe. The site has been in operation since 2001 and currently it has over 20 million members. However, what's interesting and probably important to note is that although they do currently have over 20 million profiles, they had 15.8 million all the way back in 2007. So they haven't gained much since then. And the real problem comes in when you try to determine which profiles are actually in use or not. Based on the number of active logins per week, we would venture a guess that a lot of these profiles are no longer in use. Only 7,000 users are logging in every single day for this website, which means about 50,000 logins per week. As far as gender distribution, there's about 40% men to 60% women. So while people do use this site as a dating site, it's also used as a place to network, to find friends, and to just socialize with people of a similar mindset. Before we move on to the ease of use of this site, if you're enjoying the reviews so far, please make sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. So it really helps our channel when you give us a thumbs up because it shows YouTube that people are enjoying our content. So then YouTube pushes our videos out for more people to see. So we'd really appreciate your thumbs up and your subscriptions. But let's move on to the ease of use. So I already mentioned that this site was created in 2001. And having that in mind, it was actually kind of similar to MySpace, old school MySpace back in the day. And even though a lot of new social medias have come about since then, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc., this site still has soldiered on. It does have a massive user base and it was very popular, um, but I think that the word to describe the site layout of Black Planet is outdated. So if you've never seen it before, don't expect some modern social media site. It still harkens back to those old school vibe days of MySpace. As far as setting up a profile goes, it is very easy. Um, a lot of social media sites nowadays allow you to sign up for their site using other things like your Facebook profile or your Google or something like that. However, that's not an option for this site. You have to just create a new username and input your email, etc. the old school way. But there's no um, verification process. So once you've inputted your information and decided to sign up, then you can start using it right away. Now it does actually have an app as well. It's not just a desktop version, but the app came out in about 2009 and it looks like it never progressed or got updated since then. So just keep that in mind. As far as connecting with people, this site does offer some search and filter features, but they're very limited. There's actually only three options that you can use when searching for specific people. You can search for people based on location, based on their age, and based on their gender. 
So obviously compared to a lot of other modern dating sites, the search and filter features are very limited. A lot of other sites offer a wide array of things to search for, including um, you know, more into people's looks, their education, etc. but this is very cut and dry. Something else to note about this site is that the profiles aren't super detailed. When you look at people's profiles, you'll just see some basic things like their username, their profile picture, as well as a short description of the person, a list of their friends, a list of who follows them, how many hits they've received to see how popular they are in the community, and that's about it. Now, before we dive into the pricing of this site, if you haven't already, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe. Now, let's talk money. Maybe one of the best things about this site is that it offers everything completely for free. That is amazing, but it does come at a different price, which is ads. There are photo and video ads that you cannot skip. However, for a lot of people, this is a really easy price to pay rather than a real price to pay. Because if you want to enjoy this site totally for free, then maybe watching ads isn't the biggest deal. But if that's something that really annoys you, then you will not like this. Some people would prefer that there might be an option to pay to not have those ads, but it is what it is. So this site is free, but not all websites are. And if you want the chance to save some money on some possible dating sites or apps, then you have to check out our deals page because we here at Online for Love are always getting awesome deals for different dating sites and dating apps. So click the link in the description to check our deals page, see all of our affiliate links that we're offering currently, and see if you can save some money. But that being said, let's dive into some of the key features of this site. So the first key feature of this site is its chat rooms. Again, this is kind of an outdated old school approach to the whole uh, dating site type of thing. But uh, yeah, chat rooms are a huge part of how this site operates. The chat rooms available are based on a number of things, including people's age. Maybe there are chat rooms for 20 year olds, 30 year olds, etc. There are also chat rooms for your different sexual orientations, if you're gay, straight, etc. There are location based chat rooms for Los Angeles, New York, etc. And there's others as well. Another key feature of this site is called Discover. This is essentially the dashboard. You can scroll through the feed of different people and see what they're saying. This is similar to, you know, your Facebook, MySpace type of feed. People can just write what they want to write and you can read it. This is a feature that could possibly lead to a lot of interaction. You, if you want to, you can comment on their posts and you can have a little back and forth, maybe start something that way. Another feature of this site is notes. Notes can be embedded into pictures and sent to other users. Essentially, this is the messaging system where you can contact other people. A fourth feature on this site is stories. Stories are on the news feed of this site and they feature the latest news affecting black people. If you so choose, you can go ahead and comment on the stories and start a conversation with other users. So obviously the features of this site are pretty basic. They're nothing really to write home about compared to modern dating sites features, but you know, maybe 10 years ago they would have been cutting edge. I really like the fact, however, that they offer up news that it's affecting black people. I think that having that kind of community is really awesome, specifically for black people to feel welcome and to talk. And um, yeah, that's awesome. And that aspect is really cool. However, I do wish that the rest of the site would catch up with the times. If you're enjoying this, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's talk about the success rates of this site. So how effective is this site in actually helping you find somebody to date? Well, it's important to realize that this isn't exactly a modern dating site. This is more of an early form of social media. It still hasn't developed out of the mid 2000s era of internet and I keep likening it to MySpace and that really is the most accurate way to describe it. That being said, it doesn't cost you anything and you can go on there and see what people are talking about, get a good feel for it. So in that way, you might have some luck. They do claim to have a really huge user base, however, how many people on there are actually active, I'm not sure. So it's a hit or miss with this site. I wouldn't say it's the most effective at finding a date, but it is free, so it might be worth a try. But that just about wraps up this review. I hope you enjoyed it. You should definitely check out our free online dating app quiz. The link to that is popping up above me. It's also in the description down below. It'll pair you with your perfect online dating sites. Also check out our deals page. The link to that is above me as well, where you can possibly save some money in all sorts of different dating apps and dating sites. Make sure to also check out some of our other videos popping up on either side of me. 
And I'm really curious, what do you think of this site? Have you ever used it? Do you think that there's maybe a better site out there that's targeted towards the black community that's more updated since like 2001? I'd love to hear from you. All of your opinions down below. We love hearing from our audience, but thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you loved it. And hopefully we'll see you here again at Online for Love. Thanks. Bye.